Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up shipping on your Shopify store so that you can start accepting orders online. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so we're going to be setting up the shipping in this skincare store that we created in a previous Shopify video. So what you want to do is go into your dashboard here, and then what we're going to do is go into settings. And again, you just want to make sure that your business details are filled out here as that will affect your shipping metrics. So make sure in terms of like the unit system as well, that that's set up correctly. And then what you want to do is go here into shipping and delivery. Okay. So over here in shipping, now we need to set up our shipping rates. So go down here into general. So this is for all products. Okay. And then over here in your shop location, what we're going to do is add rates and then new rates for shop location and then create the zone. So we're going to just name the zone. So Canada, and then give the country in which this zone is for. So it's all of Canada. And then we're going to add the rate. Okay. So here you can use the discounted rates from Shopify. So I would recommend this by default. So since I'm in Canada, it recommends Canada post by default. And then if you're in say the U S or another country, then I'll recommend your local shipping company. So again, if we just use the the calculated shipping rates and this will essentially automatically calculate the shipping based on the address of the customer and the weight of your package okay so we're just going to select all of these okay and then if you want to charge handling fees you can do that here so i'm not going to add any additional fees so we're just going to click done so that's the first way you can add shipping directly is using the calculated shipping and that's the way that what I would recommend. If you have certain products which you would like to offer different shipping rates to, then you can go over here and to charge different rates for certain products. Okay, so make sure to save as well. Okay, so we save that and then we go over here into shipping settings. Okay, and then what you want to do is custom shipping rates. So say for certain products. So let's say, okay, what they recommend here, gradual products. Okay, and then add the product. Okay, so we just had this one product here. Okay, and then this is how you'd set the shipping rates manually. So we're not going to use discounted shipping for this. So the Sonium again, so say Canada, and then over here, and then just select Canada again. And then we're going to add the rate. You can still use the discounted rate, but say if you're like to charge a handling fee for the specific product, then you can do that here. But I'm going to also show you how to do the flat rate method. So this can be applied to all products as well, like we did for the discounted shipping rates. So this is how you would manually set your rates if you have a certain provider which you'd like to go with. So first, we'll provide, say the shipping rate. Okay, so you can set custom names or the ones predefined here by default. So let's say just standard. Okay, so let's say $10 by default, and then you can actually do it by weight as well. So I think that makes the most sense as of course you need to pay more for weight. So let's say from 0 0.1 kilograms to say one kilogram. Okay. So there's our standard rate. And then we can also do an express rate. So the same weight, so 0 0.1 to 10, but if they wanted to get it a little bit faster, let's say $15. Okay. I need to fix the kilograms. So that's one. And then depending on your packages, you would just set the rates for the other possibilities to so say like one to five kilograms and five to 10 kilograms. So it's just the same process we did here. So I'll just do a custom rate to show you how that works as well. So custom is you're able to just change the label name. So let's just say local shipping. So you can say within say 10 kilometers of our Toronto location or something like that. And then you can just say like, like $5 if it's local. Okay. Okay, great. So we have our shipping rates done for Canada. And then let's say you want to do it for other areas you can do is use the Shopify markets feature. So let's just say first. Okay. So we see over here, we have our general shipping rates and our custom shipping rates over here. Okay. So now let's go into markets over here and show you how to do international shipping. Okay. So let's say we want to open up to the United States market. To go over here and then again you would need to customize which products you'd like to offer your taxes as well as uh if you have a specific account for handling us transactions or whatever country you're looking to sell to so again over here in shipping now you have to set up a zone for united states so we'll do that so go over to shipping and let's do a general shipping rate and then over here create a new zone and then this is united states 
Okay, and then click done and then add rate. So in this case, I'm going to use the carrier rate. The discounted rates are still accounted opposed for US customers. So I'll just enable all of this and then save that. So we need to connect the shipping rate to markets. So go to markets and then over here in United States and shipping. Okay, great. So now we have the shipping rate for US customers as well. And then you would just need to activate it here for markets and click save. And then we go back. Okay, great. So now we're able to sell to Canadians and Americans. Okay, and then lastly, I'll show you an alternative app if you're looking to offer more variety in your shipping. Okay, so you can install ShipStation. So this essentially allows you to manage shipping directly within the ShipStation platform and it'll provide shipping rates for multiple carriers at once. So this could be useful if you're working with multiple shipping companies, so we can install this. But again, with ShipStation, it's, it's not a free service. So you do have to take into consideration the pricing plans, but they do offer a free trial. So you can test it out and see if it's worthwhile for your business. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install ShipStation. Okay, great. So this is how the ShipStation dashboard looks like. So it automatically connected the Shopify store. So again, you're able to set up your locations and enable your carriers. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to set up shipping on your Shopify store. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help with your Shopify website, then you can click the calendar link in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.